Hi YouTube, this is Candy and today I'm going to do a, a leopard inspired eye. Um, I was inspired to do this by the lashes that I purchased from Sephora the other day. Um, really over the top, just a fun look. Um, by no way means would I ever wear this out, but I thought it was fun to do. Um, I was inspired by also by this picture here in the Ella magazine. And this is the look here. You can see it. And um, we're going to attempt to do that today. Um, I do have my face completely done and actually I have applied one layer of the um, Max Metallics, um, Max Metallics the Gold Spice and I'm going to apply another layer on that with my finger and you're going to apply that over the entire eyelid as well as onto the eyebrow kind of you know just like a canvas just all over and no particular you know you don't want to go all up on your forehead but yeah past the eyebrow okay because it's like a random type of look um, and then with my Sonia Kasha brush I'm going to apply Coca Motion by MAC pigment and I'm going to apply that to the entire lid as well just dabbing a very small amount actually I'll use the top and I just dab it on the brush and then I'm gonna apply that over the entire lid not really dragging in random type of dabs just randomly wherever you apply the um, metallic really getting into this inner corner though you do you do want to apply it there heavy just to get into that inner crease okay now using my mixing me mixing medium and the Mac brush 208 I'm going to apply max eh, I'm sorry Ooh, I can't see it reflection black and red that's what this pigment is it's a deep deep wine burgundy and what I'm going to do for you ladies that um, don't know about the mixing medium I pour a small amount in the cap here and then I'm gonna dip my brush and wet the brush and wipe off the SS and then I'm gonna go to the cap and then I'm going to pick up some pigment and then I'm going to put random spots all over my eye okay so we're just going to go anywhere first and apply the little random spots the leopard spots I'm going to reapply this hold on one second I didn't put enough there um, the mixed medium you want to use very a very small amount because a, a small amount goes a long way so we're gonna, there you go and you want to make your spots really really small again just randomly spotting the eye you don't want to go in a pattern because it will look um, abnormal see that mixing medium goes a long way so I haven't re re wet the brush but I am dipping it on the edge of the pigment so I'm gonna reapply the mixing medium because it's dry and I'm gonna reapply that dot right above my lid right here Okay, then I think I want one right there in that open spot. Good spot for one right there. Okay, and then we'll take one on the eyebrow up here. Okay, now you have your random spots with your 209 brush. I'm going to clean this brush off. Then you're going to take, what I did was took my eyeliner by um, Wet n Wild because it has a very fine, fine tip and then you're going to circle and it's really easy actually you're going to circle sur 
circle all your um, spots. And this is the part that's probably more time consuming than anything. And then you're going to just, and it doesn't have to be perfect, but you do want to make sure, you know, it's neat. And then I kind of do a, I try to do a half a moon maybe. And then um, do the other half if I can. Again, you know, just do half and then half, half and then the other side. Don't worry about it. Um, try to get it as neat as possible, but it's okay because what you're going to do is you're going to go back and refill your circles where needed. And it doesn't, of course, both eyes aren't going to be exactly the same. And we know that the upper spots aren't the same. Okay. And then, just take a couple of black spots without the burgundy and kind of randomly spot them over your eye. Just black spots. I think I'm going to put one right there. Okay. You know, like, I think I wish it that one here. I fill that in. Alright. Then going back to our 208 brush and our mix and medium and the wine color MAC pigment. I'm going to reload the brush and the pigment and I'm, I am going out the jar. Usually I don't do this though, but going off the edge of the jar and then I'm going to fill in the um, circles here. Just fill them in. And so that burgundy really starts to pop out. Okay, I try to do this under my 10 minutes. I'm so glad I got this timer. It really helps. Go over, just fill in your little burgundy spots. Your, your black ones, you can leave the same. And um, then next, I'm going to apply. I'm going to clean this brush off, actually. <clears throat> I'm going to use my mixing medium with um, my carbon and underline my eye with that. And again, for the ladies that, um, that doesn't know too much about the mixing medium, I'm trying to use that as much as I can in this particular video, if I can um, find my um, carbon. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm so not prepared right here. But um, here it is, okay? Now I'm gonna reload. I'm gonna dab my brush again. After cleaning it off, I'm going to hit the edge. Always go for the edge when you're using your shadows because it will crystallize your shadows and they will be easy to break. And I'm going to go right up under my eye and line my eye with the carbon. Now remember we drunk the gold in the inner corner here. So. And then we're going to darken that area there. Now, what I'm going to do is apply my lashes. Oh, this one's coming off, so I'll just dab a little glue on that. I'm going to apply my lashes. Also, um, I'm going to um, apply the blush, the black and gold lipstick, and we'll have some shots afterwards. Um, this is a really fun look. I, you know, I hope you guys like it. It was fun to do and actually easy. It looks really hard, but um, it's actually an easy look to do. And um, let me show you the picture again, and I'll have the picture afterwards. But there it is. There's my leopard eye. Thank you guys so very much for um, watching. Please rate and comment. Thank you, YouTube. Bye.